Renewable energy stocks continuing to get hammered this morning. The biggest manufacturers among wind turbines and solar panels. We're talking about Enphase, Sunran, Sunrun, and SunPower, just to name a few, are at risk of facing some of its biggest financial challenges in years, thanks to volatile costs and high interest rates. So the question here is how and when will the sector see a long-term rebound? Yahoo Finances and s for a has the details. Do you have an answer for us, Inez? <laughs> Not right now, but I do have some information about what's happening in the industry overall and what we're seeing with these uh, energy initiatives. Look, uh, when we talk about energy initiatives, what we're talking about with these renewable companies, we're talking about basically two categories here. We're looking at wind and we're also looking at solar. So let's first take a look at what's happening with wind because there have been wind projects around the world and here in the US um, that have been going on. And those are facing some headwinds with those higher interest rates, Akiko, that you had mentioned, the higher cost of capital, inflation, supply issues in the industry as well. And you don't have to look that far in the Northeast. There's some wind, offshore wind projects uh, that have been initiated and those are stalling. In fact, you had some governors recently sending a letter to the Biden administration asking for more clarification on tax credits from that Inflation Reduction Act that was passed last year, basically saying that they need more help to get these projects off the ground since they've been agreed upon because of of higher costs, higher labor costs, supply issues, lags with permits, et cetera. Then we're talking also about solar energy. And in the solar energy, those companies that you mentioned, Akiko, being impacted by lagging demand because of these higher interest rates. So let's take a look at what's happening with the solar, solar panel space. Enphase, for example, reported its quarterly results recently, and they're the maker of micro inverters, and those are attached to solar panels. So that stock is down, by the way, about 70% year to date. And the company talking about falling demand in Europe and also falling demand in the U.S. driven by California. There's also happening something happening in the overall solar uh, panel space, and that is that there's a, been a glut of solar panels. So you're seeing some record low margins for companies. It's very difficult for them to make a profit when the cost of those products is continuing to drop. And analysts are saying that panel prices are like Likely to continue to drop into 2023. Fascinating stuff there. We're looking at some of these green energy investments. Appreciate that breakdown. Our very own Ines Ferre.